One more, one more passage, one more excerpt from Fruit of the Gods, the search for the original tree of knowledge. Should we go to the end, read the punchline, page 275? Epilogue, looking outward and inward to a sea of stars. Let's see. We await ourselves within the vision. Should we read these last two sections? God, should we read these last two sections? This and this? The last page and a half of Terence McKenna, Food of the Gods, the punchline. Section, the first section is called From the Grasslands to the Starship. And the second section is called We Wait Ourselves Within the Vision. Yeah? Did we get a second on this? Lots of love. Let's do it. The ending of the book seems to be a good ending for the stream. Done deal. Let's do this game. Here's the last page and a half of Terence McKenna's Food of the Gods, The Search for the Original Tree of Knowledge, A Radical History of Plants, Drugs, and Human Evolution. Okay, by Terence McKenna. And we're going to page 274 and 275 <laughs> coolio if you want you can pick it you can pick a page after we do this one okay now let's read this and then we'll end with one of coolio's pages okay page 274 and the chapter this is in this is the last chapter this is called, this is epilogue actually. So this is in the epilogue. Epilogue, looking outward and inward to a sea, to a sea of stars. Section, page 274, from the grasslands to the starship. Quote, human history has been a 15,000 year dash from the equi equilibrium of the African cradle to the 20th century apotheosis of delusion, devolution, and mass death. Now we stand in, on the brink of star flight, virtual reality technologies, and re revivified shamanism that heralds the abandonment of the monkey body and tribal group that has always been our context. The age of the imagination is drawn is dawning. The shamanic plants and the worlds that they reveal are the worlds from which we imagine that we come came long ago. Worlds of light and power and beauty that in some form or another lie behind the eschological visions of all the world's great religions. We can claim this pro pro prodigal legacy only as quickly as we can remake our language ourselves. Remaking our language means rejecting the images of ourselves inherited from dominator culture, that of creatures guilty of sin and hence deserving of exclusion from practice, paradise. Paradise is our birthright and can be claimed by any one of us nature is not our enemy to be raped and conquered nature is ourselves to be cherished and explored shamanism has always known this and shamanism has always in its most authentic expressions taught that the path required allies these allies are the hallucinogenic plants and the mysterious mysterious teaching entities luminous and transcendental that reside in that nearby dimensions of ecstatic beauty and understanding that we have denied until it is now nearly too late subsection we await ourselves within the vision quote we can now move toward the new vision of ourselves and our role in nature we are the omni adaptable species we are the thinkers the makers and the solvers of problems these great gifts that are 
ours alone and which come out of the evolutionary matrix of the planet are not for us our convenience our satisfaction our greater glory they are for life they are the spatial qualities that we special qualities that we can contribute to the great community of organic being if we are able to become the caregivers the gardener and the mother of our mother which is the living earth here there is great mystery in the middle of the slow moving desert of unreflecting nature we come upon ourselves and perhaps perhaps see ourselves for the first time we are colorful can 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 ton caris and see our and can turn caris and alive with hopes and dreams that so far as we know are unique in the universe we have been too long asleep and shackled by the power we have ceded to the least noble parts of ourselves and the least noble among us it is time that we stood up and fa faced the fact that we must that that we must and can change our minds the long night of human history is drawing at last to its conclusion now the air is hushed and the east is streaked with the rosy blush of dawn yet in the world we have always known evening grows deeper and the shadows shadows lengthen towards a night that will know no end one way or another the story of the foolish monkey is nearly forever forever over our destiny is to turn without regret from what has been to face ourselves our parents lovers and children to gather our toolkits our animals and the old old dreams so that we may move out across the visionary landscape of ever deeper understanding hopefully there where we have always been most comfortable most ourselves we will find glory and triumph in the search for meaning in the endless life of the imagination at play at last in the fields of an eden refound end quote